But today is going to be explosive. And this thing that we are going to show today, the video I'm going to talk about, the video I'm going to show you today, is going to be a, a big vindication to me. And it's going to be about the Sat uh, Lucifer Church that was open, Greater Lucifer, I think it's called, the Lucifer Church that was open in, in Houston. And it's called the Greater Church of Lucifer. The Greater Church of Lucifer. If you didn't have about, I'm sure all of you have heard about Satan Church, Satanist Church. Now, this is the main satanic church in America, I think. And this church, and what, what, what is the connection between this church and America and Nigeria and African church and the paganistic church that we have? There is a similarity and there is a concrete connection between the Lucifer church and the pagan church in Africa. And you will see that even most of our leaders in Africa, we are practicing this paganism and there is a, there is a connection. And let us go into the message right now, if you don't mind. We are going to right now go into the video. Please pay attention and look very well. Please, let's put on the video. Go and invite everybody and go and share the message, please. was open in Houston, Texas, and people have been protesting, but there's nothing they could do, and it's called the Church of Lucifer. It's just been opened in Texas some couple of hours ago, the Great Church of Lucifer, some hours ago, in Houston, Texas, and we're going there in less than two, three days. I'm going there on Sunday, I'm going to Houston on Sunday, so we're going to start now. I'm, I was sitting down there and the Lord said to me, if you go there and if you don't close that church, don't come back. God said, look at Jeremiah 51. He said, you are my battle axe. Now, <laughs> I'm sorry guys, I'm making a whole lot of mess here. Uh, let me tell you what is happening. You, you just heard of what happened now. That there is a church, a satanic church that opened in Houston. So there was a satanic church that opened in Houston. And everybody, the whole world was talking about this. And this news got to Nigeria. Do you know this guy that we just showed now from Nigeria? He's a preacher in Nigeria that is called Suleiman. Apostle Suleiman, they call him. I think he has a name. Suleiman something. Johnson Suleiman? I think Johnson Suleiman. So, Johnson Suleiman saw that video of the whole world. It, this news came out on CNN, on CBN, on all kind of news. And everybody was, you know, angry that, ah, ah, what, how can a whole country allow Lucifer Church to be open? The greater Lucifer Church in Houston. And, and everybody, everything is permitted. I mean, what kind of country? What, can, what is happening to the world? How could this be permitted? So Suleiman had that news on maybe, I don't know, maybe CNN or BBC or the, some, somehow. So pa Apostle Suleiman said, and we are going to go back to his word. We are going to reverse. And he said that God spoke to him that if he doesn't stop that Luciferian church, in Houston, that he's going to America to stop the Luciferian church. And if he doesn't stop that Luciferian, if he doesn't stop that Luciferian church, he shouldn't come back to Nigeria. This was two years ago. He shouldn't return to Nigeria without stopping that church in America. He has to close it down. That God was sending him there to close it down. You see, <laughs> our church in Africa is built on lies and deception. Our church in Africa is built on bravado, empty bravado, empty speech, empty talk. You know, from the beginning, just start from the very beginning. Our church in Africa is been, our people have been so deceived because this guy knows that he will make that statement 
and he will not be able to, he will not need to answer for his statement he will not need to answer for that statement nobody will question him our people don't question anything our people don't question anything any pastor could come on stage and just declare any lie and deception that's why the uh, the, the church in africa has just been deceived we were hijacked by paganism without even noticing it Paganism has taken over the church because you cannot talk. I'm sure there are people who know about this, who see this video, but nobody ever challenges it. And these pastors are just having a free ride on just fooling the whole country, fooling the whole church, and just messing up everything and then disgracing the name. Now, this, this video got to CNN. This video got to C uh, CB uh, CBS or whatever in America. And they produced a film. They did a film, a compilation of videos where they included where they included the the, the, the footage of what you know uh, uh, what this man was saying. And that uh, this is this is they were even unbeliever journalists in America are laughing. That because after he said this statement, he, they started asking for prayer. You know, he started calling his church to pray, and his church started and they prayed that God would send, like, you know, the you no, know, you know, the way uh, Elisha, I think it was Elisha, you know, released lions to come and kill the children that call him bad, bald headed. And so, here they also, uh, they call the people they 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 call they pronounce in the church there that the spirit that the that the that the lions will come from or dogs or lions will come from the you know from somewhere and also kill this man who started this Lucifer church. And the lions that if they are men of God, they are commanding lions to come and kill the, the, the people. And that he was going to America and he will not come back to Nigeria until that has happened. So is that the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ? You tell me if that's the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. Because our gospel in Africa is based on demons. Our gospel in America, Africa is based on Satanism. So we are on, it is on Satanism that we are make, we make business on Satan. On, on lying to people that everything is Satan. We didn't be, we have forgotten that the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ is based on love. We have forgotten that the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ should be all about love. All about love. Nobody remembers love in Africa again. There is no definition of love. We are not even acquainted with the gospel of love. We need to return the gospel of love back to Africa. My brother and sister, you don't need to be a pastor. You don't need to be a minister. When you see this video today, you will understand. When you see this gospel today, you, when you see this video today, you will understand that, oh, Pastor Sunday is right. We don't have church in Africa. And what we call church in Africa is paganism. We don't have love in Africa. We have lost it. Please invite all your friends right now. Let us all begin the video again. Please, let's see the video. A new church was opened in Houston, Texas, and people have been protesting, but there's nothing they could do, and it's called the Church of Lucifer. It's just been opened in Texas some couple of hours ago, the Great Church of Lucifer, some hours ago, in Houston, Texas. And we're going there in less than two, three days. I'm going there on Sunday. I'm going to Houston on Sunday. So we're going to start now. I'm, I was sitting down there and the Lord said to me, if you go there and if you don't close that church, don't come back. God said in the book of Jeremiah 51, he said, you are my battle axe. With you, I shatter nations. With you, I destroy kingdoms. There was war in heaven. We can declare war on earth. Thank you, Father. 
the father from the leadership of that organization to the layman let wild dogs eat them up stop when you hear me preach that we have lost God that we are practicing paganism in Africa. What does that mean? Because somebody is sinning, because somebody opened a satanic church, is the answer that Jesus brought to kill them? My grandfather, your grandfather, our great, great, great grandparents, they were all idol worshippers. They were all satanic worshippers. What about if God had killed all of them? We would have been saved today. He is praying on the national television that white dogs, white dogs should come and eat not just the pastor, not just the founder, but everybody from small to great children, everybody. Is this Christianity we have in Africa? And some of you will say, no, this is just Suleiman, he's extremist. But you tell, I will show you other churches. Almost all churches in Africa practice this. Almost all men of God, when they see somebody as an enemy, they begin to pronounce death. Anybody who is against you will not live to the end of this year. Anybody who says you will not be successful must die. Anybody who this is, is that the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ? I beg to say no, sir. This is not the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. And you see what will happen later on. He said he will not come back to Nigeria without killing, without, without cl closing that church. All right? You see, we will see what will happen. You will see what will happen. And this is my greatest vindication. And when this man, Stephen, there is a Stephen now that is watching this program, who sent me this video, I wept, 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 wept. I said, God, you are God Almighty, that this message is not my message. It is not me preaching this message. You sent me to preach this message because you want to give hope to Africa. This is my biggest vindication. Please, let's continue. Protest and prayer outside of Spring's newest church, the Greater Church of Lucifer. This is what we get when we have freedom of religion. Tonight is the group's first meeting at its first building, smack dab in the middle of Old Town Spring. Jesus is calling on you today! Some protesters made their way onto the property, only to be escorted off by Harris County Sheriff's deputies. Good. Perfect. One large Catholic group performed a rosary and prayed for the nation and the community. Some came from out of town to protest, including Christine White. We ought to be filling up the whole street here that they have to pass through us to get into that church. Love you enough to say you either bow now or you will be forced to bow later and that it's too late. Sometime overnight, someone used a chainsaw to cut a massive branch at the side of the building, dropping it onto the church roof, damaging two businesses. It just saddens me to an ultimate degree that... Um, we have to be subject from this type of terrorism. Stop. You see what happened? This, this priest of the Lucifer, Satanist, Satanist, is now saying that the church is organizing terrorism against them. A priest of Satan Satan's priest is saying that we are now terrorists because we don't understand love. We are not coming with the picket to love them. We are not coming with the picket to pray for them. We are not coming with the picket to extend a hand of love to them. We are coming. You know what? How this all these pickets is uh, ended? All the pickets ended by Christians fighting. There were different churches. About 50 churches came out of to do. The whole thing ended by all the churches fighting each other. The churches were fighting each other and the Lucifer church continued. The churches fought and the Lucifer church continued. Let's continue. They need God. 
is what they need, that they, they're not going to find it in this town. Janet Lyncher says the protesters are sending the wrong message. I believe that God wants us to love these people. next segment because I just want to tell you something that Satan has fought this church for a while he's fought us for a while but our church has stood strong in the midst of adversity and he hadn't fought us inside he's fought us from outside but we ought to wake up and see why he was fighting us many of you know what's happened in Old Town Spring it's been on the news this month how many of you have heard about it I'm not going to talk to now in in Houston there was this man, a small church, ah, Jesus, a small church that nobody knew, nobody recognized, a church that has been under all, all kind of discrimination and rejection, ah, a man of God that was never on television, what do we run after? We run after the fame, we run after people on television, people who are popular, you know, that Houston is where John Joel Austin is. That Houston, there, were, there are thousands of churches there. And there are mega churches there. But this church here is not recognized by anybody. <laughs> this man here, nobody knew his name. But he had the heart of Christ. He was pray praying and interceding for this man and for this church. He declared fasting and prayer in this church for them to pray for this Lucifer church. And see what will happen. Why our own African minister was doing... Bra 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 no, Bracado, what do you say? No, no. Bravado. When he was doing bravado, that I'm going there, we are going to bring out the dogs. Dogs will heal them. We are in Africa. We were praying that dogs will come and heal them. I mean, eat them. Why African church, all the thousands of people in Africa are praying that they should die. Dogs should kill them. Fire should consume them. This man was praying for mercy. <laughs> this man and his church, they were praying for forgiveness. They were praying for mercy. They were praying that the Holy Spirit would go and minister to the men, to all the people. Christianity, when will Christianity come back? When will Christianity come back to the earth? What is real Christianity? We need to bring this real Christianity back to Africa, my dear. We need to bring Christianity back to Africa. Let's keep on seeing what this man is saying and what God used him to do. But let me just tell you this. And don't feel bad at me about this. I'm not going to be down there picketing. And can I tell you something? Would you not go down there and picket it? If you want to picket it, picket it on your knees. If, if you want to picket it, you picket, you picket it in worship. Because if, if, if God can move in this house... We won't have to worry about what that house is. Because when God begins to move in this house, it'll take care of that house.
God showed me some things about that that I'm not going to share here today because it's more of a personal thing that he wants me to do. You see what the guy said? God spoke to him what to do. God spoke to him what to do. He didn't go to the platform to begin to show and sell himself as the anointed guy in town that's going to close the church or that's going... God spoke to me, but I'm not going to say it publicly. I'm just going to obey God. Christians, my brothers and sisters, I beg you, can we bring this kind of Christ back to my country? Can we bring this kind of Christ back to Africa? The Christ that will love enemies. The Christ that will not call for enemies to die and fall down and die. The Christianity that will not say, go back to sender. The Christianity that will not cause the enemy. The Christianity that will not kill, that will not become a butchering house and a slaughterhouse. The Christianity that will love you into the kingdom. Please. But you listen to me. God has a revival for Spring First Church. But I want to tell you, I want to remind some of you that's been here in the history of our church and remind you of something and, and why. And it's why we need to pray strong about what's happening in our community. And in my opinion, the reason I'm not going to pick it, because when you pick it, all you're doing is bringing them advertisement. Come on. Why would we do that? And here's the other thing. Whether we like it or not, they have a freedom in this nation to worship the way they want. And they need Jesus. And Jesus didn't. You know, I saw a sign one time when I went to the Super Bowl that said, God hates sinners. And that's, not, that's the biggest lie that has ever been spoken. God does not hate sinners. He hates sin, but he loves people. And the only sinners are people. God hates sin, but loves people. And God ca hadn't called us to hate those people. He's called us to love those people. God loves sinners. God hates sin, but he loves sinners. If you are a sinner, you must be loved. You deserve love if you are a sinner. If you are a wish, you must be loved. The wish must be loved. The killer even must be loved. The murderers must be loved. Even in the cross, when Christ was on the cross, a murderer was with him. And Jesus loved the murderer and welcomed him to heaven. We must love the sinner. Jesus died for all of us while we were yet sinners. Jesus died for sinners. We are all sinners. Jesus didn't say go and kill sinners. He didn't say go and kill uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, wishes. Go and kill enemy. Go and love them. Jesus died so that nobody would die. So that everybody would be loved into the kingdom. And he said they'll know where his disciples by the love that he shows. That we show. Now, here's something I want to tell you that I think God is showing me as a pastor of where, where Old Town Spring is and why we need to, this is why we need to pray. This is why we not, don't get a spirit of hatred, but get a spirit of our prayer. I just, I'm just naive enough to believe that God could, God has a sense of humor. I just believe that God could break a revival out in that church. Stop. Did you hear what a real man of God is saying? Not that God will go and kill them. He said, I have enough faith to believe that God will bring revival out of that church. Ah! This is a man that knows God. This is the God that I know. This is the God that I want to bring back to Africa. This is the God that must come back to our pulpit. That he will see a Lucifer church across the street. A Lucifer church, satanic church. And he's not calling any you know, down, no, 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 uh, fire on them. He's not saying they should fall down and die. But he said he has enough faith to believe that God could bring a revival out of satanic church, out of Lucifer church. Ah, ah, this old faith religion, this old faith religion is what we need. This is what the, what's brought to Africa. And this is what we have lost. And this is what God is clamoring to bring back to Africa through this platform. And this is the reason for the preachings on paganism. That God could send the right person in those doors that would turn it and revival would break.
Maybe you people didn't see the note. Did you see the note? After this man did, the pastor did what God told him to do by praying and interceding and the whole church, God, what he has prophesied now, that God will send a revival through that church. God couldn't give that man, that high priest, couldn't sleep. The satanic high priest couldn't find himself a place under the sun. God of heaven responded to the power of love. But God didn't respond to the power of hatred. God never answered the prayer of the man of God from Africa. The man of God went to that place. He didn't even show up in that church. He didn't even bring any dog with him. And no dog came out to eat the members of that church. Lions didn't come out to eat the members of that church. You know what? That man of God came back to Nigeria and started doing as if everything is okay, as if nothing happened. And his members, his gullible members never asked a question. But when somebody was on his, in his, on his knees praying and having a Christian attitude, Christian attitude, Christian attitude in the power of love, he said, we are going to love them. We are going to love them. We are going to pray for them, not against them. And while they were praying for them, oh, ho, 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 the God of love showed up to that man. The God of love showed up in the Lucifer church. The God of love went to speak to the priest of the satanic church. The God of love went and revealed himself to the priest of the Lucifer church. And the man couldn't find himself a place under the sun until he looked for this church. Only God knew how he knew that this church. God directed him to this church. God directed him to this man. God directed him to the church where they prayed, where they loved him, where they were interceding for him, where they showed real Christianity. And the Lucifer priest himself walked into the church where they were loving him without him knowing what a God we serve. What a God we serve. What a God we serve. What an example of Christianity. Please. I asked Jacob and Michelle to come today just before we do baptisms. One of the, one of the requests that Jacob, Jacob and Michelle both are going to be baptized today. Jacob has already been baptized since being converted August the 11th. But since that time, his wife has come to know Jesus Christ through Jacob in their home. And um, come on up, guys. And um, they, they told me a week or so ago that, that they wanted to renew their vows in the Christian faith and church. And uh, I asked them, we've done this before for another couple that were divorced and got back together. And I said, we're going to make this a part of the baptism and I'm going to let them renew their vows to each other. It's not going to take long. They just want to read a, uh, some vows that they've written and they want to do this in the Christian faith and to denounce the Luciferian vows of their marriage. And I think that's a God thing to do and it couldn't be a perfect, more perfect day than on water baptism. So um, so they've, they've written them and uh, had you seen that video before today? Uh, I didn't see it. I hadn't seen that. I, I told you that I had told the church not to go protest and picket. But I don't know why I used that. Picket it. <laughs> but uh, that's the West Texas guy in me. But if the old man in me thinks a lot, Jacob. <laughs> <laughs> but I love you. I told you that day that our church had prayed for you. I didn't realize the passion that, that I had spoken that Sunday, November 1st, just one day after your, I guess that was your opening, August 31st, wasn't it? You see, a old priest of Satan, a old edge pastor, head priest of Satanic Church, God deliverance without drama. <laughs> deliverance without drama. Deliver us without anybody falling up and down, without 10 people, 20 people holding him. Deliver us without spectacle. Deliver us without anything spectacular, without demonstration, without manifestation, without eyes going down, without people falling down and up. Deliver us out of the power of love. 
Hey, love is stronger than any force on earth. Love is the power, is the greatest power. If you will love, all your enemies will become your friends. If you will love your enemies, we think that it is weakness to love our enemies. But see that Jesus is right. He said, love your enemies. Love is the greatest power against the enemy. If we will love our enemies, love will cast out that demon. Love will cast out that Satan. Love will bring deliverance to them. And love will make them our friends. Jacob, uh, his, he's worked, this, these are their words, and I put them on my iPad so they could see them clearly and read, and I'm not going to do a normal wedding. They are married already. They're just making this statement in this church before witnesses of what uh, God has done here. Michelle, we were once covered in darkness and bound to each other within a Luciferian covenant. We were mired in the shadows of the adversarial influence and knew no love outside of each other. Today, I rebuke, denounce, and break the satanic covenant by the blood of Jesus. You see how easy it is. Oh, we don't know the power of Jesus. I renounce, I break the Luciferian covenant. Simple, no drama. No, hey, 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 no shout, nothing. The name of Jesus is enough. Faith in the name of Jesus. Faith in his name is enough to even defeat and break the Luciferian power over people and the Luciferian stronghold. Just faith in the name of Jesus. No drama. Please. And I create a new covenant with our Heavenly Father by the blood of the Messiah, Jesus Christ, that has redeemed us from our past transgressions. It is my joy to be able to walk with you as one into the grace of God. Yesterday is dead and gone, but tomorrow will be blessed in light and joy. I vow to love and listen to your needs, to hear your heart and be the man you deserve. Thank you so much for picking me. It is an honor to have you by my side in the kingdom of, kingdom of God on the road before us. Jacob, we are approaching our second year of marriage, and I feel closer to you than people I've known my whole life. You are more than my husband. You are my partner, best friend, and lover. And I feel privileged to spend the rest of my life with you. We have had our ups and we have had our good share of downs, but together, with the grace of God and His Son Jesus Christ, we can get through anything. Today we end a new, enter a new chapter of our lives and of our marriage, and I am beyond blessed to be walking this journey with you. Today I vow to continue to be your loving wife, to continue to listen you, to you, continue to be there for you and to continue to cherish our relationship. I promise to nurture your dreams because through them your soul shines. Our love is unique and to be cherished. Today in God and through the blood of his son, Jesus Christ, I vow to love you forever. accident that God's slapped him on the back of the head, so to speak, to step in here where people would love him. This is better than any Super Bowl. This 
is good. C could I just tell you that uh, yeah, I'm going to let David introduce you to Janet. But in Africa, we use sin to be an excuse to hate human being. Human being that Jesus died for. If he's a sinner or he made a mistake or he sinned or he did something wrong, we think we have an excuse now to take an arrow or to take a gun and no matter how good he has been, we destroy him because we say he's a sinner. He has done something wrong. Sin is an excuse for us to destroy lives. But for Jesus, sin is an excuse for him to give his own life to deliver the sinner. Sin is an excuse for him to love. Sin is an excuse for him to forgive. Sin is an excuse for him to give his life and sacrifice and be with the sinner and deliver the sinner. In Africa, we use Satan and demon possession and Satan and satanic spiritual attack as a reason to kill people. We use demon, Satan and as a reason to destroy human beings that God died for. But in Jesus, sin and Satan and satanic attack and spiritual attack, demons, are reasons for Jesus to die and to give his life and to love the sinner. When will this gospel come back to my continent? We all need to play our part and we all need to restore this kind of Christianity back to the church. You can be seated if you like. I want to, Susanna, would you keep standing? There's a lady here today that so excited about today. It's Jacob's mom. Susanna. She's standing right over here by the kitchen door. Susanna, I told I walked up today and, and greeted her at visitors' time and said, Susanna. This is a great day. And she said, yes, it is. Thank you, Suzanne. It's good to, good for you to be here today. We're, we're, we welcome you. Give her a great hand, okay? As we were watching the, uh, the there's multiple videos on the internet that talk about the launch of their church. And it's just heartbreaking. Um, he was showing me one. Church all the way in another country. What country was it in? It was in Africa, and it was a Christian church. But the pastor there was speaking against them, and they were literally praying together that the Lord would re release wild dogs to like rip their flesh off. And you know, and the whole church is just like you know, all into it. Hey, Amen. And it's just heartbreaking. And um, I told him, I said, that's not the heart of God. I, I think those people meant well, but they missed it. And uh, missed it but there's one lady in the in the video in old town spring was you see they saw the video from africa and they are talking about suleiman they are, they, are, they don't thank god they don't even remember what country it is <laughs> they say it's a country in africa they, you, otherwise you are giving bad name to all africa nigerian pastors they would say a nigerian pastor that instead of, the, even these people in America and in Nigeria, Amer Nigerians will say these Americans are not born again. In Nigeria, we will say these American churches, they are not spiritual. That these Ameri these Oyibo churches are not spiritual. That they don't know God. They don't know how to do spiritual warfare. They don't know how to kill their enemies. They are weak. Oh, maybe it is we who are weak. Maybe it is we who don't know God. And this video has clearly showed who knows God and who doesn't know God. This video has vindicated the message of Christ, the message of love, and has vindicated the American church that as bad, we criticize the American church, we attack the American church, but they are head and shoulder higher than the African church. The African church is paganistic, and at least the American church we all weak, we might say they are weak, but they know the spirit of Christ, the spirit of God. And this is the vindication that we have misroad in Africa. And what we are calling church is no more church. We don't practice Christianity in Africa. We must come back to the law, to the first love and to the gospel that was brought to Africa by these same Americans and by the Europeans and everybody else. Um, that I found from the ABC footage. And, uh, 
could tell her heart was broken as well. And I was watching, she was the only one in the video. There may have been more, but it was the only one in the news coverage that was defending them, saying that, hey, this isn't right. We got to love these people. And uh, they listed her name. And I did a little bit of researching, and I called her on Thursday and asked her to be here with us today. But her name is Janet, and she's sitting here. Would you stand? Can you come up here? Can you make it up here? come down here to you. I just, I, I watched what this lady said and I said, I just love her. And uh, <laughs> I called her and we started talking. We talked to her about 15. You remember the woman? That is the only woman in the video, in the ABC or CBN video that is saying that we should, that is not the right thing to pick at those people, that we should pray for them. We should love them. Now she's coming to witness the power of her confession. She went on TV and said what well, all those churches picketing, what they were doing was wrong and that the right thing to do is to love and God vindicated her. You see how God is vindicating his gospel. Minutes and I told her what had happened with Jacob and Michelle and um, she just wept. And uh, then we found out that she was good friends with, uh, with uh, Ron and Juanita Guter. I love it. This is what church is about. I'll say it again what I said November 1st. They'll know you're my disciples by the love you show. wife of a luciferian leader and deep into the religion myself i was an occultist and had studied satanism for several years before even meeting jacob i met jacob through his luciferian church and came to Texas to help further the luciferian movement christ has set me free from a life of darkness and corruption he has freed me from stress and fear by putting my trust in faith and seeing god at work has shown me that there is something more than i thought before Today, I am getting baptized because I want to make a covenant with my Heavenly Father and work with my husband in bringing forth God's will upon the earth. Jacob, this is your first convert in Christianity and your first baptism. just if he had been killed what about if this man has been killed by white dogs now he has brought his wife he, he is the one who brought the wife to Christ he is now a, a an assistant he is now a minister of Jesus Christ what about all the people we are killing in Nigeria what about all the enemies we are killing all the wishes we are killing all the wizards we are killing what about if we are prayed for love for them how many ministers have we killed? How many children of God have we killed? Why Jesus came to die for them. And this man, thank God, God didn't answer Suleiman's prayer. Thank God, God didn't answer all his disciples, all his followers' prayers. God answered the prayer of love. And now we gain another minister and another strong testimony for the kingdom of God. I baptize you in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. I've decided to get baptized today for a number of reasons. Although I'm already a certified minister, from this day forward, I will continue my walk with my wife into the arms of my Savior. I wanted to do this with her to create a godly connection in our marriage. Today, I make a new covenant with God. 
that I will forever walk in his grace to set the path for others who are like me to feel the wholeness and the divine touch of Yahuwah, my Elohim, and his son. All right, right before Jacob gets baptized, if you're new to uh, our church or to the faith and you've never heard of Yahuwah, my Elohim, and things that think maybe he, would, he wasn't saying anything satanic there, um, he's been studying the old original names of God, which is Yahweh, which means one true God. And uh, he's just passionate about those names and my Elohim, my, uh, my Elohim, which means, Jacob, remind me, Elohim, most high, most high, most high God. So and when you hear him say that, don't think, well, that's like really odd. No, it's because he's doing his homework and like learning about the one true God. Jacob's little younger sister. You see, this man became so zealous for God that he is studying the God, the Bible in the original Hebrew. And he's getting the original names of God. Even the pastor of the church doesn't know the name, what Elohim means. And this man that is just one year or so in the Lord has studied so much. Now he's, teaching, he's the one teaching the pastor what are the names of God in the original. What about if he had been killed? This is another Paul. This is another Apostle Paul. Somebody is saying we should send this video to Apostle Suleiman. Yes, I think we should send it to all pastors in Nigeria. If you know any pastor in Nigeria, this video should be sent to all pastors in Africa. All African pastors who are praying that enemies should die. Who are praying that send back to the sender. Who are praying for fall down and die. All this, mess, this video should be sent to all of them. Megan? This is his daughter of the son. Jacob, you know that Jesus lives in your heart. And upon your confession of your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ, I baptize you today in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Can you show the beginning? I want you to show the beginning so that we'll see the picture of how it looks in the beginning so that everybody will see how it looked in the beginning. Yeah. See, this is the way the guy used to look. Satan personified. Satan personified. See what love can do. See the power of love. And see the way the deliverance happened. Without drama, without television, without radio, without microphone, without people falling down and screaming and rolling on the ground. The power of love crush the power of Satan. Jesus is not foolish. Oh. When Jesus said love thy enemies, he is not stupid. Jesus knows what he's talking about. The power of love. There is power in love. And there is no greater power on this earth than the power of love. Let's see another picture. See? This is the house the satanic horn is holding. These are the things they use to kill people, eat people, do all kind of evil, witchcraft. These are the instruments of witchcraft he had. Now, this same person is a minister of the Lord Jesus Christ. Keep on going. This is the way he used to look. 
And now God got, Jesus got another general. Another army, uh, uh, God uh, general has just been added to the army. To the army of the Lord Jesus Christ. Thanks to the power of love. You see blood. They use blood. They drink blood. They, they, you know, they do all kind of things before. But God has set the man free. You see the way he used to look? He was the high priest in America of Satan. The high Satanist, Luciferian church. He was the high priest of the Luciferian church. Yes. You see? These are the evil he used to do. Sending message through mirror. Yes. Crystal balls. He used to bring people and baptize them into Satanism. Yes. This is the man. Yes. See, see him here. He was the high priest of Satan. And he was humbled and brought to his knee by the power of love. Let's see another video there of what Nigerian pastor is doing and that's what, what Nigerians are practicing. Instead of teaching our people how to love, instead of preaching the gospel of love, the gospel of Jesus Christ, see what Africans are doing. The next one I sent to you about Nigeria. Well, somebody was praying in Nigeria about Our people are busy sending hate. Hatred everywhere. Instead of love. The Nigerian... The, the, I, I think I sent it to your, your email. Please, let's open the door to calls. Anybody that wants to call, please, you can begin to call to... Uh, you know, to try to, if you want to contribute, you could begin to call to Move Agent. Not call right now, just write. Go to Move Agent, Move Agents Facebook, Facebook, um, and fa Facebook Messenger, Move Agents, Facebook Messenger, Move Agents, Facebook Messenger, Move Agents, Facebook Messenger, Move Agents, and write that you would like to call. Anybody who wants to call, please, did you see? If you can't say, bring my computer, I will open it for you. I send the video to you, I mean, the thing to you, and I told you, get it ready. The only email I sent to you today is that one. Did you see it yet? Yeah, go and open it. It could play now. Oh, okay, then go to my uh, Facebook Facebook page, the message there. Just a minute, guys. I'm sorry. Can you play this one, please? I'm sorry, you know? What happens? Is that the beginning? Yeah, let it yeah. play. It's okay. It's okay. Cause disaster. This land shall be your graveyard. In the name of Jesus, the earth of this nation shall open its mouth, swallow you up, and vomit you to hell. Somebody shout fire! Shout fire! I made some decrees some time ago, and I stand here to repeat it. Everyone who wishes Nigeria well, May it be well with you, your family, your children, and your generation. And anybody who wishes evil for Nigeria, importing fighters and killers and kidnappers into Nigeria,
Nigerian terrorist. Anywhere you are in any, anywhere at any level, I announce your destruction. I announce your obituary. Somebody shout fire. Anyone who says there should be no peace for Nigeria, I declare your generation is peacist. You are scattered with your generation. Any rich man using money to import ammunition to Nigeria, to import fighters to Nigeria. You see the kind of prayer our people are praying? And you think this is the only man praying the prayer of hatred? This is the normal picture of prayer in Nigeria. It is not just this. This man is called Enesha, Enesha, uh, Paul Enesha. He is not the only one that is praying like that. Oh. And it's not only uh, Suleiman that is praying this kind of prayer. Oh. This is the typical African church. This is the typical Nigerian church. We have lost touch with Christ completely. We have lost touch with Christ completely. We have we, no more video today. Just let's go, get calls. Anybody who wants to call in, please begin to send in your message. You know, we have lost touch with, with Christ completely. We don't have any relationship with him. We don't have any understanding of who Jesus Christ is. We don't know what it means to be a Christian anymore. We don't know this, the essence of the Christian faith again. We, you know, we have just lost touch. Instead of them to pray for those people to become born again and to get to know God, we are calling all causes upon them. Let, let that him play again. I release the sword of judgment upon your life, upon your family, upon your generation, upon your descendants, in the name Stop. of Jesus. A man of God releasing causes like this, with so much hatred, with so much venom, with so much hatred, not just upon the people who are even doing bad or doing evil, but upon their generation. He said, upon your children, upon your children's children, upon your generation. Ah! What about if somebody has prayed against his own father like that? What about if somebody has prayed against each one of us like that? And what about, how, about, how come his generation? How come his children? Jesus said, bless your enemy. Pray, pray for your enemy. Bless those people who are cursing you. It is only the gospel is the gospel of love. Jesus died for all these evil people. They are evil today, but they will be you know, righteous tomorrow. Apostle Paul was evil. He was a killer of the church. He was a killer of the brethren. But he became the greatest apostle in the Bible. We must change our gospel in Africa. We must change our gospel. We must change our, 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 our Christianity. We don't know love. We know hatred. It is the gospel of hatred we are preaching, not the gospel of love. We don't understand God. We don't understand you know, Christianity. What we are practicing doesn't have anything to do with Christianity again. This is not the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. It is the gospel of hatred. And we must, we must re-educate our people. We must bring back this message to Africa. And it doesn't matter who you are. Either you are a pastor or an ordinary believer, we must bring this message back. Let's welcome a, call, a caller. Hello, Uwa. Hello, Pastor, good evening. Yes. Good evening. Yes, sir. Um, I've been I've been crying this whole evening. I I never planned to join today, but I think this was orchestrated. I've been shedding tears. Uh, how th this is so touchy. I I'm short of words actually. Yeah. Every day I'm going to be coming with a video like this. God told me this morning that every week of this, every day I should be coming with video to vindicate, to prove to us what christianity is all about and every day i'm going to be showing witchcraft i'm going to be showing wishes tomorrow i will come with a witch today is lucifer tomorrow i'm coming with a video of a witch that love the power of love change the power of love change not the power of hatred not the power of fall down and die do we do we do we even know God? That's the thing. 
Do we even know God in Africa? Do are we serving the real Jesus? He talked about the other day when God spoke to the woman at the well. And when he spoke to the woman, he said they serve a God they do not know. Do we yes, even know God? Yes, yes. We, we, we need to think of all, we need to check ourselves. It's so difficult. I, what I was even going to say, I've forgotten some of these, but I've seen hate being really, I called a relative recently and I was trying to conv tell her about why you shouldn't hate. And actually, it was worse than what I thought. There was so much bitterness, so much bitterness. And the Bible says we are once like them. If really they are even guilty, are we better than them? We are not better than anyone. We are, we are not better. It is by grace that we are saved. So we're not better than any other person. And is it possible that these people who preach, you know, who preach all these things and gather so many crowds, and is it possible that these are the people Jesus was talking about when you say, we did so many great things in your name, but in the end you will say, I do not know you. Is it possible? Thank and, you very and much. And when, I I was, you. when, you. when I'm crying at the church in Nigeria has become paganism, people say that I'm preaching hate. People say that I'm accusing people. People say that I'm calling names. I'm crying for my continent. I know we have lost Christ, but nobody is noticing this. God bless you, sir. God bless you, sir. Thank you so Thank much. You. Thank you. Let's get the next caller, please. God have to have mercy upon the church in Africa. And this message, we must do everything to make it spread like white fire. And please, if you have not shared this message, just go and share it, I beg you. Share it with all your friends, all your contacts. Let's share this message with everybody. Let's bring deliverance to our people. They will go to hell with hatred. Nobody can go to heaven. They will go to hell. Yes, please, uh, crying, crying prophet. Good evening, sir. Yes, sir. <clears throat> Um, I just want to contribute to uh, Pastor Suleiman. So, uh, before I was watching this man, before I used to watch him, because uh, there is one program that he did that I love so much those days. And when I have not watched the program, there is a, there is a time to kill. I love those, that, that one so much. So, I even sometimes when I'm, because at that, that time when I'm on stage, I used to, to also say all this killing and that. Well, uh, so I want to say something that uh, I wanted to tell you for a long time is that uh, this killing and dying it has stuck for a long time. It is not just now. You no, know? I can remember those days in late 80s because I I I'm a Benin migrant in Benin when uh, past, uh, uh, Idausa was bringing this. That's why I said. This America is the one that brings all these things. It's just that we put our own. Because those days when they would do crusade, people online that are on this platform, they will know where I'm talking about. Those days when they were doing crusade those days, you know, when these Americans they would come, you know, they are robot and the rest. This thing was common. You know, this thing that they were seeing about people have took it to another level. All these new pastors. They have took it to another level. Like in this you were seeing just now, like uh, Suleiman, they took it to another level. They did not have the African one, they miss it together. Even this fake, uh, this fake, this thing, they, they, even this fake miracle they were doing, they were still doing it those days, Pastor. When we will be at the back, you will see people that will walk. They are walking, you know, but when they are shouting, they will form a group. You will see that person will turn to a, a lay person. We don't see this in those days now. But when it becomes, when you will talk, people will say that you are raving against God, you are doing that, you know. So it has started for a long time. But people, now, it is not a culture, it is not like corruption for us now, it, it, like in Nigeria now. So it is not just now, but people just have to be aware that this is started for a long time. We are, we are, we are just being blindfolded. That is why we didn't know all these things. Nigeria, uh, Africa needs deliverance. Africa yeah, needs deliverance. Yeah, yes, sir. Yes, sir. We need, we need, we need a crusade of deliverance in Africa because without deliverance, this thing because a lot of people. Yeah, the the churches, the churches are taking people to hell. Yeah, we are true. taking people say, to hell. Honestly, yeah, that's true, sir. I always say that. Even I'm not lying to you, sir, because I was among among them until God opened my eyes. I said, when, when God opened my eyes, I now see that 
Everything that was doing is wrong. Everything. They are just missing everything. This is a man. This is not the first time he's saying it. He said that uh, this is uh, a governor will die now of Kaduna. The man is still living today now. So it's not, <laughs> it's not the first time, sir. So it's not the first time. All these are anti fast Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. Thank you. Please, let's do anything we can do to delay the Because with hatred in our heart, eh, there is no heaven waiting for us. So we, there is no heaven for hatred, though. Jesus brought the gospel of love. We must love. That's why there is suspicion, so much suspicion in the church. Hello, Joy. Joy. Uh -huh. Hello, Joy. Where are you calling from? I'm calling from Lonzo. God bless you, sir. Thank you for this powerful message. I really appreciate you. I appreciate your family. I appreciate everyone. And I appreciate Facebook people. We are able to get understanding from a lot of things. I've just got my deliverance today. I used to pray this prayer before. From today, I'm no more going to do that prayer anymore. Amen. Thank you for this, Amen. Great, this great awareness you put into us. A lot of people are acting on ignorance. They don't really know. It's what they've already taught us that we are uh, that we are carrying out. Yes. And from today, deliverance has come. Amen. Thank you so much. Amen. God bless you. God lift you up. Higher and higher Amen. In the name of Jesus. Please invite joy. Invite people. Help download these messages. Let yeah, this message I've, spread. I've invite a lot of my friends. Yes. I do. I, do, I, I have also shared it as well. Yes. Thank you, thank you so much, sir. God thank you. you. Thank you so much, Joy. Blessings. All right, sir. Thank you. And we are welcoming all the calls because we are only going to have a limited time to call. So if you want to call, go to Facebook Messenger. Facebook Messenger. Facebook Messenger, go and write there, move agents, move agents, Madik, move agents, and then just write and say, can I call now? Then we'll write you back and say, yes, you can call now. Every one of you that are here, please, I have a whole bunch of messages on YouTube, 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 YouTube. Sunday Adelaide Official is my channel. Sunday Adelaide Official. You know, you can d d download all the messages for free. Then on SoundCloud, all my messages are there for free. On, is on Telegram, all my messages are there for free. And I tell you people, if you have not listened to 200 messages, don't say you have listened to me at all. At least 200 messages. Only then the message will begin to get to you. Hello, Pastor Richard. Uh, hello, hello, Richard. Yes. How are you, sir? Oh, I'm feeling very heavy today. Very heavy-hearted. Very heavy-hearted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember the, 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 the first time me and you talked. Yes. What we mostly talked about was the issue of love. Yes. Love has, has escaped in the churches in Africa. And if you look at the story of Stephen, when he was being stoned, what came out of his mouth was that Father forgive them. Yes. Because they did not know what they were doing. Yes. Let's assume he had prayed that fire should come down and kill them. That fire would have come down and killed Paul. Hmm. And Paul was one of the most successful that we know. Yes. If he was on the cross, when they were nailing him to that cross, he said, Father, forgive them. But they don't know what they are doing. We need to understand. And this message of love. And that is, it is a very key message that we need to put out there. Yesterday I was, sorry, but I was saying, I was telling you that the, the, line, is the, the line is very bad I though. You ask us to... I don't know why your line yeah. is so bad. You might need to call back. You know, some people are asking, how can they get come to Ukraine for the HMT? Yes, we have the HMT training, history makers training here in Ukraine in November. If you want to come for that program, the way to do it is go to my blog. It's called Sunday Adelaja Blog. Sunday Adelaja Blog, one word, Sunday Adelaja Blog dot com. Then you have to push slash visit, visit, visit. So if you write Sunday Adelaja Blog dot com slash visit, then you'll be able to see a form there and you can fill the form, fill the form, get registered. And that's how you come. So it is between 5th to the 12th of November. You could actually come a week earlier or a few days earlier, or you can stay longer. Stay as long as you want. You can stay for as long as you want. 
So, but if if you can't get it on on the blog, you can just write to guest G U E S T guest at God Embassy. God Embassy is one word. God Embassy dot org. Guest at God Embassy dot org and say you want to come for the HMT from the fifth to the twelfth or from any date you want. Hello, sir. Who is there? Ola. Uh, yeah, Ola. Oh, how are you, Ola? I'm Ola. Yeah, I'm Ola. Where are you calling from, sir? I'm calling from India. Okay. We are hearing you. Okay. Uh, thank you so much. I just wanted to uh, contribute to this um, wonderful message. And I'm still, I'm fine, sir. I'm fine. I'm, no, no, put off the Facebook, please. Put off I'm, your Facebook. I'm calling from Indian. You need to put off your Facebook page. I put, yeah, I put it off. Okay, then go and go ahead and talk. Yeah, I just want to thank you so much for this wonderful message. Actually, I was born a Muslim. My name is called Muhammad. Hmm. And um, my name is called Muhammad. Yes, and, we are uh, hearing you talk, talk. Uh, but God, you know, because God have his way of trying to manifest his glory in somebody's life, you know, he was able to make me to see that, the light. And I came, I renounced myself to be a Christian. Hmm. But what I'm trying to say, in essence, is that, see, so much that is happening in Africa today, this is the reason why we're lacking behind in Africa up till today. Even God has blessed us so much with so much mineral resources and so, so many things that cannot, that we should not be lacking as a continent in Africa because we have so much resources. Why? Because of the fact that the kind of things we're practicing and the kind of things that sowed in our mind through so many men of God who have used their selfish interests to be able to hold people on in captivities just for them to be able to acquire wealth and stuff like that. But I just want to thank you. You are such um, a man that even when you're de sharing the, um, your, I mean, your challenges, when you're sharing it, I know that when things like this come, because they're trying to prevent you from not going further, oh, and I know that at the end of the day, it's going to be a wonderful testimony. Amen. Before, Amen. You know it, before you know it, they will just call you and they will release everything that they laid hold on in that Ukraine. In Jesus' and name. Do and and they, you, you will be able to fulfill this calling perfectly. I will tell you what. You see, I'm about to go to VG this night. Yes. I'm about to go to VG. Yes. But this message... It's a no vigil for me today. Wow. It's a no vigil for me today because I just decided not to. Let me just be home. You know, I got married to a woman in you know, from Russia, but the fact is just that when, in fact, I'm, I, I'm, when you were crying, I was crying. You know why? Because I got a deliverance of sharing love, no matter how it is, because people will make you to denounce God through your prayer through your prayer request. Yes. Because this is not what God he said he said for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever yes. whosoever believe in him should not perish. It be, the, the, my bone of contention is that for God so loved the world yes. that he gave his only begotten son. He said when 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 somebody slap you to turn the right cheek and give the right cheek, let the person and tell the person thank you and let the person go yes. and pray for your enemy. As yes. I said, love your enemy as yourself. Yes. This is where are we putting this phrase that's love your enemy as yourself when we will stand in the pulpit and start declaring a negative word towards our enemy? How? Where is the love? He said, because he said, love and hatred, when you have an atom of hatred, you don't have any place in heaven. Yes. Because it's the principle of heaven. It's the principle of heaven to, to, to love, and this is the only way that the gate passed to heaven. When you have atom of hatred inside of you, 
that means you are restricting yourself from being or having an opportunity to gain heaven. So I so much appreciate this wonderful message. I have now I feel very refreshed, I feel very renewed because when you have true power of love, you feel joy from inside. I feel joy this moment right now. I feel a joy, the kind of joy that I'm feeling is on explainable i cannot explain it because it's coming from inside because this message has really really touched my heart so much from henceforth i don't want to pray a prayer of hatred to somebody that god you do this to somebody for me to be succeed god do that to somebody for me to be able to succeed or god blind this person or god do all these things when i was looking at that message that you're sharing and and i look at the man and even the man need to, you know, baptize himself and renounce himself from, you know, decision that he's making. But and I, I, I try to, you know, understand that what if all this prayer of hatred has answered? Would somebody, will somebody be able to get a deliverance through this kind of message? What would somebody be, what would somebody would have been able to gain, or what would have been? Thank the you so much. Thank, thank you so much, Allah. The ta your time is up now. Thank you so much. We all that call us are waiting. All right. We are going to wait for, we are going to receive other calls. And let us just share this message. If you have not yet shared, and let people know that they can download all these messages for free on SoundCloud for as MP3 on you know, YouTube or anyhow or Telegram. So who is the next caller? Uh, we are having the next caller call, calling in, but why do we, we are waiting for the next caller? I just want to sh you know, encourage you to go share the message. Okay, is he there? Bright? Hello, yes, Bri sir. Hello, Bright. Hello. Hello, sir. Good afternoon, sir. Where are you calling from, sir? Yeah, I'm calling from Washington, D.C., USA. Okay, we are listening to you. Yeah, um, a good one, sir. Um, right. On Facebook, I've yeah. been... Um, you need to put off your Facebook. Put off the Facebook, please. The Facebook yeah. live. Okay, let me turn it off. Okay. Okay, we are listening to you. Okay. Yeah. So can you hear me now, Sam? Yes, we hear you now. Okay. Yeah, so um I'm so happy to talk with you, sir. Um, you know, um I've been seeing your post on Facebook, but you know, uh, because of um the way Nigerian pastors uh, because of their live messages and all that, so I lose interest because I don't want to get my mind corrupt and in the way they change the word of God. Yes. But today, you know, um, I was like, let me just see what you're going to say because I saw the uh, title of your broadcast. So I've been listening, so I was really touched. Like, man, this is the kind of word I, I really wish to hear these days. Because um, it, when I left Nigeria, I came to US. I thought it's gonna be um, another. I, th I thought it's gonna be uh, different from you know back home, but I now find it's even worse than you know what we uh, have in Nigeria. So a lot of pastors they don't say the truth. The truth, there's no truth in the church right yeah. now. Yes, yes. I say that. Yes, sir. You know because the. Because, like, okay, let me just make an instance. Just like a pastor that um, started a church, I believe he has a vision and a mission. But because um, he has members that are rich, his pastor is going to bring up something, okay, this is how I want the church to, to go. But a member will say no. Why? Because he's the one paying the biggest tithe. So, um, in America, they, they size you by what you do, your profession. Sometimes I get, I mean, I get confused. You know, I, I would say, if Jesus is here, is he going to say, oh, you are a doctor, or you are a lawyer, or you are a mechanic, or you are um, a cleaner? I believe in the kingdom of God, you know, the way Jesus sees, I mean, the, uh, you know, his children, he sees everybody equal. He doesn't, you know, compare, there's no comparison. So that that's for that. Then these are, when I was growing up, my father used to be a deacon before, before he passed away. Um, I grew up in Baptist Church. I'm from Benin City, Edo State. 
But um, you know, there was nothing like fall and die. <laughs> they don't they don't pray for I, I've never heard them saying praying against their enemies. You are right. You know, they say, Oh, love your neighbors. Because if you if you pray against your enemy, you you yourself that is praying for you know against your enemy, I believe you are an enemy to another person. Yes. yes. Because you 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 are you are not perfect. You don't know what yes. you're doing wrong. You might think, oh, you you are on the right track. You have not offended anybody. You are an enemy to another person. Yeah. So if you have to pray for if you have to pray against every enemy, which means the whole of us we're going to die. Right. Your time is right. up. Or other people are waiting. And, and it's, it's just to um, I want you to I don't have time I want to you really to, say, but I want you to know that thank you. I am here every day. Share. Yeah, Every I'm gonna day. Say, I'm going to share your, your messages on, on Facebook. I yeah. love what you are doing. We need undiluted words like this because the end time is here. Because yes. what we hear. Yes. Okay. Now we have the next caller coming up. And, uh, you know, uh, people will have to learn to say, be snappy about our, yes, about everything we say so that everything is quick and we, we give other people chance. So please, uh, you know, Please, you know, let people, let's go and share this message and let's bring the real gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ back to our people in Africa. Okay, we have the next caller here is uh, Kenny. We have Kenny. Sir. Good evening, sir. How are you, Kenny? Where are you calling from? I'm calling from Edinburgh in Scotland. Yes. I yeah, how are you, sir? God continue to bless you. And God continue to make you a transformer or a transformer. Thank you, Pastor. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Pastor. Yeah. Um, your message I listened to tonight uh, is wonderful. And I will still continue to say it that the mindsets of uh, many believers need to work on through the power of the Holy Spirit. I want to share my own experience with you. I happen to be. One of my former, former church, which I was a member, and I uh, attended that church. You see, the love we are talking about has to start from the church. Yes, sir. You can imagine, as a young believer then, I don't know what I did to my pastor then. You know, for many months, he was keeping malice with me in the same church. Wow. And coincidentally, we travel out of, out of, uh, we have to travel and, uh, uh, our our seats. I was on seat number forty nine. He was on forty eight. <laughs> from London, from from London to um to Gatwick Airport. No, from 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 Glasgow to Gat to Gatwick Airport. Do you know for one hour, I was trying to engage my pastor. My pastor was not talking to me. My he God, was keeping malice with me. My God, six months in the same church, and these are people that were you know prayer fall down and die. So you cannot imagine, this is a pastor that pastor a very large congregation. So you can imagine, where is the love in the church of God? Talk less of extending that love to the outside world. Hmm. Hmm. And, and that, 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 that is it. And since I start listening to your messages many years back now, my prayer life changed. Hmm. Hmm. My, my perspective about love to mankind changed. Because there's one of your pray, one of your messages I listen to. Do you? Uh, who are you? Why are you? Why are we on planet Earth? And you, you, you were saying in that message that God, God is trying to duplicate Himself. Yes. You, know, you took a message from Genesis 1:26 that God said, "Let's make man in our image and in the likeness of us." Yes. Sir. And you were talking about that God is looking for people that will exhibit His character, His nature, that will show love to people. And so if we cannot pass that across in the church, how much more to the outside world? Hmm. I know many pastors today, where I am and all over the world, they don't even greet themselves. Wow. They don't even, most, most of them are occultists. Hmm. Most of them, they need, they need to, they need, they, most of them, they are not born again. Wow. They are not born again. They are just being called maybe because of their, because of their resources or because of their availability. Hmm. Are you know what I'm saying, sir? My so God. The, 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 the love needs to start from the church. Hmm. The church of the, the body of Christ needs to be revived hmm. before we can transport that love to the outside world. My God. To the outside world. My God. And, and my prayer for you, what you are doing, you might not know it now, but I'm telling you, it is a legacy that will outlive you. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' so we need to name. Start from the church. We need to start from the church. Love has to start from the church. 
Because at times when you listen to most of the prayers in the church today, you just look at it down. Then where is the Christ? Hmm. Where is the Christ? When you start seeing your enemy, even within the church, they are praying against themselves not to move on, not to progress. They are envying themselves not to move on. So how much more the kind of prayer that they will pray outside? So my, but the, we, 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 we see one, one thing I want you to do, sir. Yes, if sir. it is possible, if it is possible for as many that you know, there are as many men of God, pastors that you know, call them one on one. Okay. Many of them are watching. They are watching your program. They are not just. They are not just showing. They are not just. Uh, what's it called? They don't want to be to be to be know that they are watching you. I know a lot of them right now. They are watching you, but they are not ready to change. Wow. I'm telling you, a lot of as I'm talking, a lot of them are watching you. But all what they are watching for is to criticize you. Is to go to their altar. And be saying that son that like that for that and die because he's spoiling market for them. But it will not be Amen. It will not come to pass. Amen. Because only the castle of the Lord shall stand. Amen. So us, uh, we keep on praying for you. Thank you, and Pastor. Only the will of the Lord shall continue to be done. Thank in you, our Pastor. Generation in Jesus name. Thank you, Pastor John. Thank you so much. Blessings. You know, if you have not yet shared this message, let's go ahead and share it. Uh, please go and look for the share button. Let's go ahead and share the, most, but, uh, the message for with as many of our friends as possible. And for those of you coming to Ukraine, I already mentioned it. If you want to come to Ukraine for November HMT, it is sundayadelajablog.com slash visit. Okay, we have another caller here. Uh, this is Funsane. How are you? You are, call yes. you are calling from Africa. Yes, I'm calling from Zambia, and I'm calling for this. This is the second time. Yes, I remember your name. Yes, 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 Pastor. Good evening. How are you, sir? Great. How are you, sir? Well, we know we are, we are, you know, we are boarding, and we want to hear. We need you to change Africa. So please, we, <laughs> we want to hear your contribution. Very brief, very brief with my contribution today. Okay. Yes, but uh, the message was powerful. Uh, these are the prayers that we, we've been praying here. Uh, every Sunday we come in and uh, there's a sermon on vengeance and we are taught how to pray against our enemies. And this has been enlightening. It's very sad. So thank you so much. Very, very thank sad. Thank you for the word. Very sad. Please make sure you yes. make sure you download all these messages. And when you download yes. them and spread it in Zambia and all over Africa, let them download for free and let this message spread all over Africa, please. Okay, thank you so much, Pastor. And that's what we are doing. Thank you, sir. Well, that's what I want to tell everybody also. Let's go to Sunday at Ad Adelaide Official on YouTube and make as many copies as possible of these messages, the video, but also the audio. You could also make the audio copies by going to SoundCloud for free. Then let's download these messages. And I said, if you've not listened to 200 messages, you've not really listened to me. This is David from Ireland. How are you, David? Hello, sir. Good evening, sir. How are you, sir? Yeah, I'm fine. Good evening, sir. I want to hear your contribution. Um, yeah, um, tonight, uh, tonight I'm just going to go with Philippians 2.12. Because uh, this message, personally, I, I know what this kind of message has done to my family. I mean, like, um, I'm just struggling now. Like, I just hope and pray that people will, will, will listen more. I've been sharing, and I'll continue sharing, and everything. But I'm looking inward more tonight on myself and, 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 and family like that. Like, what this kind of message can do to them, you know, like... I don't know. It's very, it's, it's very emotional it tonight. Very, very touching. It is. It is. It is. It is, it is it's not like every other day. It's really emotional because it's more emotional because I'm personally affected by this kind of thing. And and um, God bless you, sir. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you, sir. That's what I'm just gonna say. God bless you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you, David. Thank you. You know, it's, it's, it was a powerful message today. And thank God that God is ministering to people. God is touching everybody. And I, I, all this week, God wants me to do this. Vindication of the message of the kingdom. Vindication of the message of love. Vindication of the real gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. Today, the vindication through, came through the Lucifer Church. Lucifer Church is the, our vindication. Oh, look who is calling. 
Doris Ngere. <laughs> Good evening, my great mentor. How are you, my ma? pastor? Good evening, sir. Yes, my sister. Oh, I'm very well. I'm very well. In fact, I'm just dancing right now because I got a very powerful testimony that one of my my co-disciple have just been free. She's just been liberated from the bondage of church. And she she is so excited. So tonight's message is amazing. God bless you. How did you know about this, your friend? How did you know that the person is set free? Oh, you know, I was, I dialed in that I would like to call. So I was told that, okay, that I should wait. I'm in the queue. So her call came in and I had to cut her off. So, but something just said to me, just call her back one minute. So I called her back. I said, look, I'm waiting for a call from um, DSA uh, uh, um, team that I just have just less than a minute. So she said, please, that is even good. That um, she just want to tell me that something great has happened. I said, what is it? She said that I have been liberated. I am free. I am free. That I'm no longer the place where she worshiped. That there are so many politics, so many things that is going on. That, you know, people are being looked down on. Just like the first caller said, that you are being, you, you are being accepted by the quality of your job, your status. But this sister, because when I was telling her about DSA, I told her, I said, if you want to know the truth, are you ready to be set free? If you are not don't bother yourself that is my slogan i always say that if you are not ready don't bother but to the glory of god she was ready and today she has been delivered she said that the church uh, uh, that the church wanted to release her and she told them she said please i beg you people in the name of god i came there by myself and uh, since i have decided to leave i don't want any release because god has released me yes <laughs> yes 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 i am so so happy sir, because because i am die. so happy because this is exactly what the bible said he said that when a soul repents when a soul comes to christ that heaven rejoices so this is in dss movement any soul that is liberated heaven rejoices because everybody needs to come into the place of life so i just want to quickly say thank you so much for tonight's message thank you so much because god is really using you i don't know what others are seeing but I know that we are all seeing the same thing, most of us on the platform, that God is really detoxing us from, from the things that have been dropped and garbage into us, that we have, be, we have become carriers of, of hatred, that when we see people, even somebody that have not done anything to you, you begin to discriminate just because you said you're a believer. But I just also want to use this opportunity, sir, like today in my broadcast, I had to echo it over and over. I said... I am talking about my great mentor, Dr. Sandia Adelaja, and I said to people, go and get yourself a copy of who you are. Start from there. Who am I and why am I here? When you're able to discover the answer, that is the beginning of your liberation. You are talking about my, you are talking about the book. Yes, sir. I was talking about the book in the afternoon. I came up today twice in the afternoon and in the and I said to them that I know many may not like my mentor and I'm ready because I know you will not like me as well. But it's not about us. It's not about but it's about the truth. Just go and get the book for yourself and discover the truth because we have been lied to. When we go to church, they only see demons in us. They make us dependent that we are now depending on them. They are the ones controlling controlling our destiny, but God came in the person of DSA to liberate everyone that is ready to be liberated. God is not going to force anybody, but anyone that is hearing the sound of my voice, if you are ready to be liberated, if we are waiting for when God, is just like when the Jews are waiting for the Messiah, if you are waiting for when God will come personally from heaven, then you will wait for long. But I want you to know, and I'm saying it clearly right now because I know the entire world is listening, thousands of people are listening. God has come in the person of DSA to liberate those that are ready to be liberated. And I, I thank God for what God is doing with through you, sir. We are so grateful. How can people get so to grateful. how can people get to watch your your messages? Yeah, it's it's simple, sir. They should just uh put in uh Pauline Doris. 
one named Doris and Gary. That's my new page. I had to create that new page because I want to use the, mon the little money I have. I want to use it to buy likes. I want to keep buying likes so that both people that are hungry and those that are full will come to hear about the man that Jesus, I told God, I said the spirit of the woman of the, uh, 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 of the well side, the Samaritan woman is upon me. I am screaming, I am shouting because I have been in bondage. And God have come in the person of DSA to set me free. So I am like that woman, I am actually screaming, come and see what God have done through a man. So it is time. I don't know about every other person. And I want to use this opportunity to say that anybody that wants to request friendship, the only guarantee at which I'm accepting people is that I go into your page. If I don't see at least five DSS videos, I will decline. But because maybe I am not ready. But to maybe have friends. Maybe so, there are friends who have not even heard of DSA. Maybe they are going to hear of DSA through you. So maybe you need to get them first. And then, you know, through sharing DSA, you are the one who will share the DSA with them. Sir, there are a lot of them that I have, I, I, I agree with you, sir, and I'm doing that. Yeah, yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm accepting the new people because when you yeah. go on my page, sir, the Doris and Gary page, not the new one, you will see that yeah. everybody, somebody called me from America and said, come on now. Every time on your page is DSA, I said yes, because I am... Yeah. I said I have seen the light, and that's why I'm putting it there, so that all of you will see the light, and also come to a place of freedom, because God is setting us free. So I will do exactly what you have said, sir, but I'm talking about, I've noticed that some of us that are on DSA platform already, some of us that are there are not sharing the message, because some people that are requesting for friendship, they are actually coming from people that are already my friends on Facebook, which is a part of DSA family. I just want to encourage people in DSA's family. You don't need to listen and be ashamed. If you are not ready to take the bold step of freedom, then freedom will be very far. But let's not be ashamed. Just hit the share button. Hit it. And when you keep hitting it, one day, even, even, even if your pastor is there, one day God will touch him that there will be a change and a transformation. God could Thank even you. use them, God could even use them to touch their, to use the sharing to touch their pastor too. Oh yes, uh, pastor, let me just quickly, I know people are waiting, but let me quickly give you an amazing testimony. They are saying, uh, what is your name me? again? People are asking, what is the, how can they find out your page? My, yeah, my page, my new page is Pauline Doris Ngere. Pauline Doris Ngere. That's okay, when page. you finish talking, you have to write it, okay, in comments. Yes, sir. I will, but let me quickly give everyone a testimony. Yes. You know, I said to us here, I said, when I started following DSA, I went to a new ministry, and I started posting the, the I, I will copy the, 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 the message, and I will send it to my pastor. I will copy the message, I'll send it to my pastor. And my pastor is also on my time timeline. But I said to myself, if he does not watch it on my timeline, I am sending it privately to him. But to the glory of God, to the glory of God, on Sunday, on Sunday, I heard my pastor preach like Dr. Sandia De La Wow. I said, yes, yes. Yes, it is working. Yes. Oh, I am so happy because I, I knew he listened to your message because I could hear the I could hear the messages. He was saying the things word for word. He was saying it word for word that most of us pastors we have failed our congregation. Yes. We have failed them. And I was hearing it. I said, Thank you, Lord. Even if I leave after now, my work is done. Yes. My work is done. God bless you, sir. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you so God much. You. I will have to go and watch your two messages of today. Thank you, man. Wow, 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 wow. What a woman on fire. Her name is Doris Ngere. But she said it's Pauline Doris Ngere. N G E R E. Pauline, Pauline is like Pauline, the, the Paul, but for a lady, Pauline. Okay, we have Olaniyi here. Well, Olaniyi is just like me. Olaniyi <laughs> just released his book, and I want to recommend his book to everybody. He released a book on the birthday of Nigeria, on Nigeria's 57th anniversary. Wonderful book. I read the book. It's, created, it's called Rewriting the Nigerian Story. Please yes, look sir. for that book on Amazon, Rewriting Nigerian Story. How are you, sir? Thank you very much, sir. Thank you so much, sir. Uh, I'm really sober right now. And, um, 
You know, I, I don't, I don't. It had to take much time. I just want to write something. I uh, read some things that I wrote down while um, the message was going on. Yes, sir. And um, so, um, it, it, what, what a shame! You know, what a shame. We we serve a God we do not know. We claim to serve a God we do not know, and uh, we do not know that Yahweh, this God we call Yahweh, is love. You know, we, all we need to do is show love to share love. That is the gospel. We should leave all the gymnastics and all these things that you know we call, you know, uh, the Christianity and spread love. It's so simple, but that is the truth. That is the truth. Love your enemies, love your neighbors, not just those who call themselves Christians. Don't tell me you you are a Christian if you do not if you do not know love. If you don't know love, you don't know God. It's a shame because the gospel has been misunderstood. Religion has taken us far away from God than sin itself. Religion tells you to kill and to destroy those who hate you. But the gospel tells you to love who hate you and despitefully use you. Religion tells you that God loves you and your church members alone. But the gospel tells you that Yahweh loves everyone, irrespective of their nature or their actions or their religion. Christ was never religious. He came to break religion with love. Love is the essence of our faith. Saints, sin was an excuse for God to love us. It was an excuse. But religion and paganism uses sin as an excuse to segregate, to despise, and hate people. We need to strip off our titles and self-acclaimed religious positions. All the Father wants is for us to show love. More love and more love. Don't tell me you're praying for me. Show me love. Don't tell me I'll go to hell if I don't repent. Show me love. Don't tell me you are anointed and called by God. Show love. Let us bring back love, bring back the gospel, bring back revival. The greatest and only revival we need and should pray for is love to be made real again, just like Christ did. Thank you very much, sir, for this uh, privilege and this opportunity to hear this kind of message again. I'm so grateful. I'm so grateful. I'll, I'll be forever grateful the day I listen to you and I'm connecting to this platform. I'm just so honored, sir. I'm just so honored. This is pure go gospel. This is pure gospel. Love is the only gospel. I that is the only gospel. I tell you, uh, Olani, your voice, the message you gave today, right now, is like the voice that is coming directly <laughs> from the throne of heaven. Your uh, The message you just gave now is the heartbeat of God Almighty and may the sure. earth and the, 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 you know, the earth hear that voice. And may the, may, 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 may the whole continent of Africa hear the voice of reason and the Amen. heart cry of God the Father. Thank Amen. you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Every day this week, God told me, you show videos that will vindicate what you have been preaching. Go and look for witches, wizards, witchcraft, satanists, and they will vindicate the message of the gospel. Hello, Pastor Kenny. Hello, Pastor Sunday at Elijah. How is London, sir? Uh, it is great. We thank God. God is good. Well, well I, it's my joy to always hear from you, sir. Honestly, honestly, the Lord is with you. Pastor, let me just say this, and permit me to say this. Do you know the, the, the message God has given to you is actually based on truth, love, and faith? Hmm. There is no doubt in it. Hmm. And especially God has ramped your message with love, which is the message that Jesus Christ actually came for. You know, I, I, I want to really talk to all the men of God in Africa, especially in my country, Nigeria, we need to stop causing the enemy. Hmm. The enemy, actually, God sent us to the enemy for them to become a blessing to the kingdom of God. And if we decide on our own without God instruction and without causing enemy, that means that we are doing our own things and it's not the will of the Father. Yes. And that is very, very important for every one of us to know, especially if we believe and have the confidence that we are called by God 
and we are actually preaching the doctrine of Jesus Christ because the doctrine of our Lord Jesus is absolutely based on love. Without love, there is no God. Yes, sir. And God himself is love. And Jesus came because of this love. And if we decide now and say that we are anointed and the anointing that is upon our life is to cause people and ask them to fall and die, that would never be the will of the Father. And yes. it's not the will of God. Yes, sir. So every one of us have to come to our senses, including the bishop, archbishop, no matter what we call ourselves, maybe we call ourselves, uh, you know, the, the so-called uh, what do you, prophets. You know, many many people now call themselves prophets, but all what they do is to cause people. Mm -hmm. So we need to come back to our senses and actually use our senses rather than thinking of, you know, that we are born again or things like that. And I, I believe that God has sent you this time. You are like a messenger of love. And you already wrapped yourself in love. And every time I look at you when you talk, I see the love of God in you. Many people may say you are antichrist. It's because the eyes of understanding of many are not yet open. And I pray that the eyes of understanding of our people, even especially the men of God in, in Africa, will be open to this truth so that they can hold God in faith with the love of God that he has given to us. Because Jesus is the love that God gave to us. And we have to preach this Jesus to the whole world. So well, they are saying they are saying they are saying that I'm antichrist because they said I men, I show videos of men of God and I mentioned their names of what they are doing. But I'm not against the men of God. I love the men of God. I love the church in Africa. But I'm just trying to show people so that they will see with their eyes what we've got wrong. Pastor, exactly what you are doing is exactly what you need to do because if you don't show it, many people will not know the truth. What you are doing is exactly what you need to do. And I think God has actually, God actually called you to do this. You're not just doing this on your own. God has given you the confidence. God has given you the faith. God has already backed you up. The finger of God is upon your life. If anyone trying to do anything, they're actually doing it to Jesus Christ. And no one can, can destroy Jesus. No one can destroy the kingdom of God. No one can destroy Christ. Because Christ is the anointed one. So the anointing of God is upon you to do what you are doing. If anyone tries to do any evil, they're going to receive the reward of it. So I know that God is with you. And no, not no one can stop you. You know, this is God's work. And this is, you already put yourself into it. And the umbrella of God, of salvation, is upon your life and upon your family. Even everyone that are working with you. They are all covered with the power of the Holy Spirit. So nothing can happen to you. You know what? Continue doing what you are doing. God Almighty is with you, and nothing can stop you, in Jesus' name. Thank you, man of God. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Well, for those people who have not heard me in the beginning, I said, if you have not listened to 200 messages of DSA, you will not get this message. I am just interested, not for you, to, for my messages to be listened to, but for you to get the essence of the message. Please, go and download all the messages for free of charge. Uh, anyhow you want, either MP3 or, you know, YouTube or, you know, just go and download. We have them in series. We have over 35 series. And, uh, you know, make sure you listen to at least 20 series or maybe 200 messages. Then you can say you have listened to the essay. If you are just listening to me now, you have missed a lot. So go back and look for all the messages that you have uh, missed and begin to listen to them all over again. All right, so let's go ahead and look for the messages. Well, you know, I already warned you in the beginning that I will be finishing fast this time because I'm in town still. We have, we have left home. It's the old day today, and we are still in town. And it's one hour from my church here, from the church office where I am, to get to my home. We will need to travel another one hour. And here in Ukraine, it's already 11 o'clock. So we are getting home only by midnight. So we are going to be stopping earlier this time. And every day like that, because I'm doing trainings in the church, you know, so that's why, you know, we have to be traveling so far. So thank you so much, everybody. And, you know, go and share the message of today. Go and share with your friends. And uh, tomorrow we'll be back. We'll be showing you other video tomorrow to vindicate the message of the kingdom and the message of love. Have a wonderful evening. Blessings. <laughs>